Rothenbrenner's ecological theory was developed to help support the argument of human development psychology, or developmental psychology. Prior to that, much of the thinking was that our psychology is solely biological. You're born with what you got. Rothenbrenner made the argument that no, we're also influenced by um, everything around us, not just when we say ecological, we're not talking about the physical environment, the trees, or everything, but of course that does have an influence. But what we're talking about is the ecological system of families, schools, um, neighborhoods, peers, um, religious groups, things like that that we engage with on a regular basis. And so what Brenner argued was that within that immediate structure of family, school, peers, church groups, um, human services, health services, things like that, that is our core influence, but what, there's also outside of that micro system, there's the meso system. And within the meso system, the wonder is how are those micro system influencers actually engaging with each other? How are peers engaged with the family? Do social services engage with the school, making sure they're on the same message and providing the same supports? When we move beyond the meso system, we're looking at the exo system, and that's Influences that we don't necessarily engage with on a daily basis, but kind of on a regular basis. And that, of course, is friends and family, people within our neighborhood, other services that we may be engaging with, and mass media. Brenner, of course, developed this decades ago, and I would argue that mass media kind of has a larger influence right now, especially when we think about social media. Beyond the exosystem is the macro system, and the macro systems is kind of like the cultural attitude and ideologies. And of course, today we're seeing a lot of that influencing um, our own development and our own experiences and our own anxieties. And so within this system, it provides a nice structure to understand where these influencers are coming along. And of course, across all this influence is the chrono system, which is time. And that can be, of course, not just your maturity and your aging, but the time period in which you had those developmental experiences. So think of now even like as we look at baby boomers and millennials kind of having a bit of a conflict because their experiences are so different. Their perspectives are so different from those experiences. And of course, the psychological development of those experiences are being influenced as well.